Hey what's up guys, it's Rich and welcome to a sniping gameplay. Today I'm using the DSR with the silencer attachments and also the fast mags and look at this first clip. I cut that guy on the objective, kill another shotgunner, get two people uh, with a cholesterol trying to get the B flag, kill the head glitcher with a sniper, get another capture kill and then I'm not finished yet, I still have two more kills to go. So there's another capture kill, we finish off the B flag capture as a team and I kill one more dude and I was so happy with that clip when I got it because uh, it's like a nice little feed with a sniper and it wasn't in one of like the overseen uh, kind of places I guess you could call them like the back of hijacks where they spawn at the ADOM side where I'm looking right now and it wasn't in like the overflow tunnels or whatever it was just a nice clip trying to go for that flag capture and I hope you guys enjoyed it so uh, you'll see like a variety of clips this game or oh, this video even one from this game where I was playing hijack domination and I had my search and destroy kill streaks on I took those off the next game and played carrier domination where I was using the UAV the lightning strike, no, I was using the lightning strike, the um, the blackbird or the VSAS I guess, I always call it the blackbird, and the EMP killstreak, and the reason I'm doing this video is because two of the biggest requests that I get are for more 1v1 videos and for more sniping videos, so I thought I'd hop on this morning and uh, try and get some nice streaks, and the one you're watching at the moment is on carrier as you can see, and I don't think I've ever uploaded a carrier gameplay just because I don't like this map, uh, there are so many places where you can hang out with a sniper and get so many kills, and it always seems to happen to me, so um, yeah, that's why I've never really uploaded carriers. So uh, yeah, I hopped on this morning, I decided, you know what, I'm not going to go for an entire gameplay, I'm just going to play normally, and then I, if I get any nice clips or streaks or whatever, I'll throw them into one video. That way I can play normally, which is the way I like to play, which is rushing the objective even with a sniper. You'll see me get a fair few captures and defends in this video, and it also allows me to uh, show you guys the most entertaining footage from those games. So if you want to see more of this, let me know and the reason I'm using the DSR sniper with the uh, silencer attachment is because it's actually pretty good as you can see I don't get that many hit markers with this thing and it's because uh, this thing is a one shot kill from the chest upwards so it kind of behaves just like the ballista does without a silencer uh, so if you are good with aiming and if you know uh, not to try and shoot them in the you know below the chest which you'll see me do later on in this video <coughs> excuse me and get a hit marker you'll actually be pretty successful with this so if you throw on the DSR sniper with the uh, silencer Use lightweight, use ghost, and whatever the perks, and you should have a good time if you are no, if you know what you're doing. So, uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, look at me. I always fail the easiest shots. I don't know why. I can't hard scope to save my life. I'm a far better quick scoper than I am hard scoping. So, uh, you'll see it later on in this gameplay actually, where there's some people camping the um, the ramp near C domination, and I just thought, you know, I'm not going to really get too many shots off before they get one off as well. So I'll just go for the quick scope. And if it wasn't split, I would have got a triple headshot feed, and the shots are actually really nice. So, uh, you know, I, I did fail some clips this gameplay that you'll see, but it doesn't really matter. So, moving on, because there's only around 90 seconds left of this video, uh, if you would like to see some more sni silence sniping gameplay, it doesn't even have to be silence, to be honest. If you just like the format of this video, I haven't done it in a long time, be sure to leave me a comment so I know what you guys are looking for on my channel, because that is how I judge what you know, what you guys enjoy and what I should produce more of. So if you want to try out the silenced blister or the silenced XPR or whatever, there's the heat marker I was talking about by the way. If this wasn't silenced that would have been a one shot kill and it's just about getting used to the fact that you need to treat the weapon differently and you need to take a little bit more care uh, just so you don't get those hit markers and this is a nice little streaker going as well. So yeah, be sure to leave a comment and I meant to ask this video, this, this video, I meant to ask this question in last video uh, which was yesterday, uh, but if you could bring back any weapon for Black Ops 2, uh, what would it be from any Call of Duty? Uh, for me personally, I think it would be the AK-47 from Call of Duty 4, I did talk about it in yesterday's video, look at that quad feed, unfortunately I didn't manage to save the flag, but we do get it back after I get a capture kill, and I get absolutely destroyed by explosive, my man fires a s'more at me, and then a hunter killer drone comes and kills me and a teammate, but this is the triple headshot feed that I was talking about, well the split one, there's some guys camping on the uh, the old ramp up there and I managed to take all three of them out with a headshot. And this streak is going to be the last one that I show you guys. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you want to see from, uh, some more sniping from me, be sure to leave a comment. And if you enjoyed the video, a like rating as well. I will speak to you all tomorrow with another video. I'm going to go and prepare for the Man United Real Madrid match tonight because I cannot wait to see that. Hopefully Man United win, not because I'm a Man United fan, but because I'm English and I like to see English teams succeed. So anyway, I'll speak to you all tomorrow guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.